In this video, we are going to work with collision and make a simple collision system in which if the bullet touches the asteroid, the asteroid gets destroyed. And if the asteroid touches the player, the player gets destroyed. That's all that's going to happen. And it will look something like this. So it's coming down. The bullet hits them. They get destroyed. Whenever the asteroid hits the player, the player gets destroyed. And that's all that we're going to do. It's going to be a fairly small video. So with that said, let's get started. And a special thanks to Ansoni Manrique for supporting this channel on Patreon. Bro, your support means a lot. With that said, let's get on with the video. Now, before we do anything, first of all, let's just change the aspect ratio here, right? I want to make it something different. So I'm just going to go plus. And here in the resolution section, fixed resolution, if you do 1920 by 10 sorry not 18 10 80 then it'll look something like this which is 1920 on the width and 1080 in the height i want the exact opposite 1080 in the width so 1080 in the width and 1920 in the height which will make it look something like this this gives you more real state to know how the where the enemy is coming from right you don't need to move too much and you can avoid the asteroid really easily and plus you can make a mobile game out of it which will be awesome so this is awesome i need to fix more things but for now you get the point now what we will do is first of all we will add colliders to all of these objects for that let me just make this big go to your prefab right all of the objects are already here i we had made prefab out of them in the previous video now click on all of them just press shift and click on all of them select all of them go here click on add component and write box collider first of all box collider and we're going to use box collider 2d so now all of these object has a box collider for example let me show you so if i go to my asteroid uh let me just click on this guy as you can see there's a green outline right if i go here that's the collider the green outline is the collider I have it also in my bullet so let me just drag this guy out as you can see the box collider is here as well and inside the player as well but this looks really weird so let's fix this a little bit how I can fix that is just edit collider click on edit collider click here and just click on these guys just hover around it will be yellow and just put it like this and that is how you edit a uh, collider but right now there is still one problem as you can see here there is a lot of gap right for example what's going to happen is when you have some kind of a gap like that let me just bring this down here right now if i just put it like here these two are not actually colliding with each other but according to those box collider these two are because those two box colliders are connected to each other so they are colliding according to box collider and that will create a lot of glitches right this won't make the game fun so let's just remove this box collider i'm just going to click on the player go here click in this triple dot here and then remove component that will remove the box collider it says that box collider has been removed because in here actually the box collider has not been removed now whatever you cha change you make in here if you want the same change to happen in the prefab you just need to go and click on the player right go up here you see a override here click here it will say yeah we have removed a box collider so apply it to all and then it will be applied here as well if i click here now go down here there is no box collider so now let's add another collider there are many types of collider here right now i've only shown you the box collider if i just write collider c-o-l-l-i-d-e-r According to that, you can see many collider, box collider, capsule collider is basically for 3D, box collider is 3D, anything 2D is for 2D and anything that is not 2D is for 3D basically. So here right now, what we want is we want a polygon collider. So click on here. Now, if you see here, yeah, it is a triangle and a polygon collider, how it works is that you can make it into any shape you like. Meaning, if I can click here, now there is one more point. I can pull this, make it a squarish kind of a thing. If I pull this, make it a pentagram, 
one, two, three, four, five. Yep. One more. Pull it down here. Hexagon, I guess. Septagon, octagon, things like that. Blah, blah, blah. So now the collision will be different. Now there is no gap in our collision. Now we have set up our collider. Now let's see if it works or not. Let's see if we collide or not. So I'll hit play. And now nothing happened. We actually did not collide. And the reason why is things like collision are related to physics. So there is no physics component in them right now. There is nothing that relates to the physics component. This is just a transform. This is just a renderer that renders this triangle, right? This is our script, but we don't have any physics system. So let's add a physics system to all of these objects. Let's just click on it, shift click to click all of them, add component and write rigid body. Rigid body is for 3D. We are going to use rigid body 2D. So once we do that, now all of this object will have their own mass some linear drag which is zero, angular drag and a gravity. Since we are making a space shooter, we don't need any gravity. So in all of them, put the gravity as zero. So now we have the physics system in place in all of these objects. So let's hit play to see if the collision will work or not. Okay, the collision is working, but if you realize something, I don't know where the player went actually. But if you realize something, this player just got like rotated because of the collision and we do not want that. So to not have that, just go to the player and go down here in the rigid body. You will see a constrictions and you should just freeze the rotation on Z axis. That will basically freeze the rotation on Z axis, meaning now whenever we collide with something, it won't rotate from the Z axis. Once we freeze that, that will not happen. So. Let's hit play again. Let's see if that works or not. So, and yeah, it collides, but it does not rotate on the Z axis, which is fine. Now, let's set up our collision system. Basically, we'll start with the bullet. So whenever the bullet touches the asteroid, the asteroid will get destroyed. So I'm just going to drag and drop my bullet here. And let's go to its flow graph right here. And here, right click and right on collision. Now here you can see six different things. We are going to use the 2D version of these things, right? Both of them are the same. The 3D version and the 2D version are mostly the same. So what's going to happen is on collision enter only works when we start colliding with something. Let's say the bullet just hit the asteroid, then on collision enter will start working, but only once. That is all it does. On collision stay is like this. Let's say the asteroid collides with the bullet and the bullet keeps on colliding with the asteroid then on collision stay will keep on working as long as the bullet keeps on colliding with the asteroid. That is what on collision stay does. And on collision exit, let's say it just collided with the asteroid and somehow it got flicked away and the bullet is out now. The collision has stopped happening. When that happens, for once, this will work, but only once. So that is all it does. In our case, we just need to work with on collision enter 2D. So click on it now. You'll see many things here. I'm just going to make it big here. So you'll see many things here. You don't have to worry about anything. Just remember that this collider is not our collider, meaning is not the bullet's collider, but the collider of anything else we will collide with. For example, let's say the bullet hit the player, then this guy will uh, know the player's collider. Basically, this will be the player's collider. If the bullet collides with the asteroid, this will be the asteroid's collider. So the other things collider. In C Sharp, I would just write other instead of writing collider so that I would know that, oh, it's the other game object. Basically, just remember that. Okay, so let me just put it here. Now, what we will do is we will first see what kind of an object we have collided with the help of the other objects tag. Meaning, for the asteroid, if I go here, there is a tag, right? It's in every object, basically. Every object has their own tag. The player also has it, as you can see. So for the asteroid, I will put this asteroid in a tag called asteroid, capital A, E S T R O I D. I'm going to put it here. How you can add in tag is by clicking on add tag and then clicking on the plus. And here, write anything. Let's say maybe I wrote fire, F I R E. Hit save. Now, if I go back to the asteroid, go here, I'll see a fire tag and I can make it into a fire tag. So let's put it in the asteroid tag. So now, 
what we will do is let's go back to the bullet and here whoever we collide with first of all we will check is it the asteroid or not so how we will do that is by clicking here let me just drag it and write compare C O M P A R E, and you will see a game object compare tag click here you can write something here and what we're going to write is we're going to write capital a e s t r o i d that is exactly how i have wrote here so you have to write the exact name so it's a capital a e s t r o i d so i wrote a capital a e s t r o i d so let me just connect it so now we have that value right we have that value and here this is the true or false values so we will see is it the asteroid or not is it tagged as asteroid or not so if let me have a branch b r a n c h right branch so if and let me connect the uh, what is this uh, boolean condition right so if it is asteroid then we will destroy that game object so if that is true then we will destroy so game object first of all go to the game object and inside here you will find destroy object so click on that so we are going to destroy that game object now how we will destroy this game object anyone who we collided with is first of all i will take the collider then i'll go to the game object of that collider whoever we have collided with right game object g a m e yeah game object and down here you will see expose game object so click on expose game object right then i can get all of these things right the transform meaning where the game object is in what layer it is uh, there is something called layer sorting layer and things like that right is it active or not i can know that it is is it static or not there, there is something called static that means it will stop moving if it is static right what the tag is we don't need to worry about this anymore what the tag of that game object is right in which scene it is we don't need to worry about anything we just need to take the game object the whole game object and we will destroy that game object so after doing this whatever has a tag called asteroid right now only this guy has it because this guy does not if i just go here because i have not actually override anything here so this guy does not have an tag right so only this guy will get deleted let's see if it works or not so this is our and i'm going to pause it first of all then hit play so now i have paused it let it just load now let's go here go 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 uh, let me show you that object as well so shift and i'm gonna nope that that does not work but let me show you that object as well asteroid as well as the bullet where is the bullet okay so both of there uh, let me just bring it here so both of their rigid body you can see there i mean the collider i'm sorry both of their collider you can see there but i cannot see the bullet huh flow but no no problem now just goes near 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 they have collided and now that game object is destroyed great but as you can see here this game object will not get destroyed see so now it's working so let's go to the asteroid the first asteroid here in the override section let's just apply all so now all of them will get destroyed whenever the bullet touches these guys so let's see if that works or not i'm again going to pause it and hit play right so we're just going 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 going, going. it looks something like this by the way now you know how the collision works right so it looks something like this we'll just go here go here go here whenever the collision happens this guy will run once see we just destroyed the game object yeah it is tagged as asteroid that's why it was true and we just destroyed that game object and after we destroy that game object it will be null so again let's see if that works or not so we're going we found another game object and we destroyed it again let's see that works or not we found another game object we destroyed it and we found basically the bullet could not shoot this guy i guess <laughs> and so it did not work so so it works but we just destroyed all of those asteroids with one bullet we don't want that what we want is basically after it destroys the other game object we just want it to destroy itself so how we can do that is fairly simple let me just stop it here after we destroy the other game object we will destroy ourselves so destroy 
destroy it'll find destroy component okay yeah game object destroy it is fine destroy we will destroy and here we will destroy ourselves so write self and we will destroy ourselves so let's see if that works or not so for that to work whenever this collides with this both of them will get destroyed so i'm going to pause it again and hit play and let me just make it like this so that it'll be easier for you to see let's just hit play and so we collide it and both of them gets destroyed now our first collision system works now what i will do is i will basically just take this make a super unit out of it and use it in the asteroid as well so let me just copy it like this i'm going to press ctrl x and i will go to my project in my macros let's make another macro so click here create bolt and you'll see a flow macro let's call it a collision system maybe okay it will be called a collision system let me just click on it and open it by double clicking on it it's already open it's in here the flow graph right we're in the collision system so i'm going to click here and control v so now everything is done so in the tag section instead of having an asteroid as a tag we'll put just a name just a place where you can input a string called name so how we will do that is right click here add unit and input so you'll have a nesting input not the normal one this is for controlling our player or and things like that we'll use nesting input this is to make a super unit so nesting input and here when i click in the nesting input in the value input click plus we will name it as a name basically a name and it will be a type of string so i'm just going to drag and drop the string here so that is all we need to do now let's go into our project and into our prefab first of all let's set up our bullet again so i'm gonna click on bullet and go to the flow as you can see this is the bullet so let me just right click here and in add unit write collision and you will see our collision system now click here and now it says a name whatever name we will put here it will basically destroy only that object so in the name section let's go down here and let's add a string i have already done that let me just remove it and here let's write name i guess and it will be a type of string and the value of that string will be an asteroid asteroid i'm just going to drag and drop it here and done so now let's hit save and let's see if this works or not destroyed 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 and destroyed so it works so now let's do the same thing to our what is that asteroid as well so i'm just going to click on my asteroid click here to open its flow graph uh, let's make it big this time all right here let me just right click and have a collision collision system and in the name section uh, let's let's just go back here in the name section in the name section i already have a string called player let me just remove it so it will be a name that will be a type of string and the thing we will destroy meaning this asteroid will destroy is the player so capital p l a y e r will destroy the player so let me just drag and drop it here and add it like this let's go back from here okay now if you see in the asteroid yeah, everything has been done which is great now now for this to work meaning for the asteroid to actually destroy the player the player should also be in the tag called player so we already have a tag called player just make it into that now let's see if it works or not yep yep and let's see the final one and the final one touched the player and the player got destroyed which is great so we can use the same system to let's say make a system where we have power-ups we can have many kind of power-ups whenever the player touches a power-up the power-up gets destroyed and it gives us some kind of a power-up let's say we have a power-up which has a piercing bullet now piercing bullet basically destroys the other object but does not destroy itself 
like the bullet did at first, right? That could be a piercing bullet. That could be our power-up. Or we can have something like a shield. Whenever the shield touches the asteroid, the asteroid gets destroyed as well as the shield gets turned off. How about that? We can have many kinds of collision. We can work with collision and do many things, but we'll do in a later or uh, after one or two videos, we will start doing that. In the next video, what we're going to do is right now, if I just hit play and go to my boundary, basically, I can go out of my boundary. Let's make a boundary for our player, right? As well as make a system in which it will spawn asteroids right up here and it will randomly spawn asteroid, asteroid at a random time interval right here so that now we can have a fully working game so with that said i hope you understood this it was really hard for me to make you understand i don't know i just i think it's been a month since i've made a video so that's why it was hard but hey if you didn't understand anything let me know in the comment section down below i will try my best to make you understand and thank you for watching i hope you like the video smash the like button hit subscribe and with that said thank you for watching again have a great day bye bye